I'm okay. Pleasure. I've been sitting out there for the last half hour trying to come up with a story that would explain my being here dressed like this. And, and I wanted to come up with a story that would demonstrate qualities that I'm sure you all admire here, like, like earnestness or diligence or team playing to something. And I couldn't think of anything. So the truth is, I was arrested for failure to pay parking tickets. Parking tickets? <laughs> and, and I ran all the way here from the, the Polk station, the police station. What were you doing before you were arrested? I was uh, painting my apartment. Is it dry now? <laughs> I hope so. Jay says you're pretty determined. Oh, he's been waiting outside the front of the building with some 40-pound gizmo for over a month. He said you're smart. I like to think so. And you want to learn this business? Yes, sir, I want to learn this business. Have you already started learning on your own? Absolutely. Jay. Yes, sir. How many times have you seen Chris? You know, I don't know. One too many, apparently. Has he ever dressed like this? No. No. Jacket and tie. First in your class? In school? High school? Yes, sir. How many in the class? Uh, 12. It was a small town. <laughs> I'll say. But I was also first in my radar class in, in the Navy, and that was a class of 20. Can I say something? Um, I'm the type of person, if you ask me a question and I don't know the answer, I'm going to tell you that I don't know. But I bet you what? I know how to find the answer, and I will find the answer. Is that fair enough? Chris, what would you say if a guy walked in for an interview without a shirt on? And I hired him. What would you say? He must have had on some really nice pants. 